Over half of new parents feel overwhelmed by the varying opinions on baby and child nutrition. With so many conflicting sources of information on the web, how do parents know what we should be feeding our babies? Here to help is Dr. Tanya Altman. She's author of What to Feed Your Baby. Dr. Altman, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, Natalie. Okay, so there are so many people, blogs, websites, offering advice about feeding your kids. But what is the most important thing parents need to keep in mind when it comes to their kids? So you're right, it can get confusing with all the information out there. So the most important thing to keep in mind is that you want to introduce healthy food options on a regular basis starting around six months of age. So this means things like avocado that have healthy fat, which is good for brain and heart development, berries that have antioxidants, which are great for your child's immune system and have fiber, which is important for digestion. Yogurt, I like stony filled organic Yo Baby yogurt. It's a great source of protein, calcium, vitamin D, and now has added BB12 probiotics to help promote gut health. And a lot of parents don't realize that you can feed yogurt and all of these other things starting as early as six months of age. So why do new parents struggle when it comes to childhood nutrition, would you say? You know, I think that there's a lot of confusing information out there. They remember from years ago, people saying, oh, don't feed babies eggs, don't feed them yogurt, don't feed them fish, don't feed them nuts early on. It might contribute to allergies. Well, we now know that that's not right, and it's actually better to feed your children yogurt and eggs and fish and all these healthy foods early. But I think parents are also worried about things like choking. And is my baby really ready to eat? And so that's one of the things I talk about at the four month and six month checkup are the signs for readiness. So when you know that your baby needs a little bit of solid nutrition so they can hold their head up well, they might be interested in watching you eat. They also lose their tongue thrust reflex. So if you put a little bit of yogurt in their mouth at six months and they push it back out at you, they're not quite ready. So wait another week and try again. All right, that's good advice. And many of us struggle to keep the junk to a minimum. I know we do in our house. So how can we start developing healthy eating habits in our child? So the best thing you can do is not introduce the junk for as long as possible because once you open up that box, it's really hard to take it back, Amen. right? So exactly. the first time your child has, yes, <laughs> the first time your child tastes juice, they're not going to want to drink playing water anymore. So that's why I also like to get babies used to drinking water as young as six months of age and stay away from juice as long as possible. The, the longer you could keep them eating the whole grains, the whole wheat bread, and avoid all those white you know carb products out there that don't have any fiber in them the more that you give them the whole fruits and vegetables the better it will be and the more healthy food items they will accept and don't forget to keep introducing it to them on a regular basis so give them their yogurt every morning for breakfast or after an afternoon snack kids love routines they don't get sick of eating the same things over and over again like adults sometimes do that is true. My kids will eat the same thing over and over again. It's amazing. Okay, so many adults take probiotics, and I've seen the kids' options recently. Can they help make a difference? Definitely. You know, the first probiotics that your baby eats are actually in breast milk. So from day one, your baby is getting probiotics in their healthy nutrition. So around six months when you start solids, that's why I like to recommend a healthy source of probiotics, such as the BB12 that's in the Stonyfield Yo Baby yogurt. And that's one of the reasons why this is the number one recommended pediatrician brand. It really helps promote gut health and nutrition, as well as providing your baby with important things like protein and calcium and vitamin D when you feed it on a daily basis. All right, and where can parents go for the trusted information? So for more information on nutrition and probiotics, visit stonyfield.com slash yo baby. Dr. Altman, it was great talking with you today. Thank you. Thank you.